All right, in this video, we're gonna use the wind function and we're gonna find crosswind and headwind. So we're gonna go down one using this cursor and then we'll hit enter on crosswind headwind. The first, things it want, first thing it wants is the wind direction. So we'll enter 030 for this example and then hit enter. And the next thing it wants is wind speed. So for wind speed, for this example, we're gonna go with one eight, 18 knots. So we'll put an 18 and hit enter. Then it wants the, your runway. So we're gonna go runway one, two, which is a direction of one, two, zero. And you wanna enter in that complete direction. So one, two, zero, and we'll hit enter. And now it's gonna give us a crosswind and a headwind. Now, if you see this crosswind, it has a little minus sign right to the right of it. That means, so if we're, we're landing on runway one, two, zero, and our, our wind is from zero, three, zero, the wind is from our left, 90 degrees to the left. So that, that minus sign means from the left. If it was a plus sign, it would mean it's from the right. Well, actually, it wouldn't be a plus sign. There wouldn't even be a sign. But that's what the minus sign means. It means it's to the left. And that makes sense, right? If we're landing on 120, that's about in this direction. And then our wind would be 90 degrees like this. So that's 90 degrees to our left. Would be, we'd be feeling the wind. It'd be a crosswind of 18 degrees. And because it's exactly 90 degrees, that makes sense that we don't have a headwind at all. All right, so let's do another example. So if we hit wind and then we go down to crosswind and headwind again, let's do another example where we have more of a headwind. So you can see the headwind that time when we didn't have a headwind as a direct crosswind. We'll still do wind direction of 30. We'll still do a wind speed of 18. And then let's land on runway land on runway three six zero all right so we're landing directly to the north and our wind is from zero three zero so north here and then zero three zero wind speed is 18 knots so we are going to have a crosswind of nine knots here and that's again from our right because we have we're landing this way our wind is from this way so the crosswind component is from our right and then 15.6 headwind, that means it's in our face. So the headwind, the minus sign means that it's in our face. So we're landing to 360. So we're landing in this direction up, up the calculator. And the wind is coming in this direction here. So the wind is in our face. And that's what that minus sign means. And it's 15.6 knots of a headwind and a nine knot crosswind from our right.